Rajan. I mean, I just, you know, I just had to be real with him. And to be honest, like, people were like, oh, Adam gives you an ultimatum. It wasn't really an ultimatum because yeah. I told him, if you want to, like, if you really fuck with, like, what you're building over there and you want to, like, keep doing a show with homie, whatever, I understand. Like, that's, that's totally cool. And I'm not going to hold a grudge against you or anything. I just don't feel comfortable with having you be a part of this fucking team and everything. That's an ultimatum. Like that. That, that is an that's ultimatum. That's a super <laughs> ultimatum. Okay. Josh shook his head. That's an ultimatum. That's the definition of an ultimatum. <laughs> Even well, you did golly. Golly. I was like this, you like this, you like this too. If you want to do it, it's just like, yeah, he's like, like hey, you he's can't like, come back to no jumper. He's like, like, hey, listen, if you want to. It's basically like quit dealing with milk or I'm firing you from no jumper, bro. That's wild. But I don't care about that, bro. I mean, he gonna do what he gonna do, though. But that's just hating, bro. It's that pressure, you feel me? I'll be applying that pressure, bro. He mad. But don't get mad, you feel me? You did a lot of shit towards my way. And then when I do shit back, you can't take it. You think you under attack? I'm under attack. You got 4 million subscribers calling me homeless on your platform. You got all type of people DMing and calling me homeless and shit like that because of you, bro. So what are you talking about? Come on. What's good with it, YouTube? It's Coffee on the vid. Adam definitely was feeling that pressure from Milk74. And we're seeing this as everything continues to unfold. We're just seeing more and more what type of fluck ish Adam's on, what he's really made of. Like, real talk, y'all feel me on this? You know what I mean? Uh, he continues to speak on this situation, how he went over there around back on Fig. And, um, you know what I mean? Um, Milk put it out there. We all seen it. All the fans were loving it. Milk trail squashed the issue. Smack and Milk got a rapport. Everything's lovely. They're on there two times. Is he going to be the third host? And Adam comes through and gives them an ultimatum. Real talk. Shout out to those gentlemen on No Jumper for keeping it a buck with Adam. Like, yo, Adam, that indeed was a motherfucking ultimatum. You know what I mean? It's like when you say some real foul ish and then at the end you're like no offense like yo that's still a dish you're still talking ish you know what i mean just because you said all that and laid out the scenario for them how sensitive you were feeling and how much pressure you were feeling from this whole situation and then at the end the end end you're like uh I mean, if y'all really want to fluck with him, like, go ahead. I'm not going to hold a grudge. Fluck out of here. You're going to hold a grudge. Come on, man. You made this whole big issue. Like, I don't know. For real, guys. Like, I'm not trying to just stir the pot here. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. Like, I'm just really like, damn, Adam acting like a whole hoe out here. Real talk. Like, tap in and comment, guys. And listen, I'm feeling like Milk and Adam should box i don't know if milk's interested in that or not i know back in the past um that you know when the whole boxing events that never happened over there on no jumper which we're seeing those discussions go down in other sectors of the blogosphere once again right now you know what i mean will these fights happen or not who knows you know what i mean um putting a whole event together can be a tough thing there's there's a whole lot of different red tape and questions when it comes to the revenue that would be generated and things like that but we know adam 22 if he really wanted to could run a boxing event like nothing you know what i mean like for real guys i'm really thinking a lot of this comes down to the fact that adam was shook for real for real like comment y'all for real i always say love or hate milk like just keep it a buck you know what i mean like i know a lot of people feel different ways about milk but yo he pulled up there Yes, he had the camera rolling and all that, but Adam ain't come outside. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, if you're going to, because listen, there's times that someone could not come out and, and face someone when they're genuinely not afraid of them or, you know, ain't really worried about it like that and just take the high road for whatever reason. But when you do that, you don't talk all this greaseball ish the way Adam is doing. You feel me? Like it don't make no sense. And he keeps bringing up that situation and uh, mentioning AD and um, just trying to take shots at Milk. You know what I mean? Trying to call him soft, more or less. You know what I mean? Like, to make Adam feel better, make himself feel better. Like, this is just crazy to me, man. You see these different memes I'm seeing floating around. Everyone's calling him Karen 22 and Real Talk. The way he's acting just feels real 
entitled and caring ish to me. Like this ish is absolutely crazy, man. And uh, as I pointed out on a previous video I did about this, Milk's channel ain't all about Adam. Yes, he's went in on him. Yes, he's reacted to him numerous times. But for him to just continue to try to spin this narrative that he's running a Tasha K like channel, just all about Adam 22. Come on, man. I, I just I feel that's like such a reach, just not even true at all. Like Milk reacts to all kinds of ish and like, yo, you're his op in the blogosphere. So he's coming at you. You know what I mean? And we're seeing other things bef like previously, Adam would take little shots here and there, but more or less would try to just, oh, I ain't worried about Milk. But it's like, yo, you really are. You know what I mean? And it seems the catalyst for a lot of this was on Milk's side when uh, Adam talked that ish over there on Bootleg Kev podcast. That's when he decided to pull up. And on, to me, it feels like on Adam's side, that was the catalyst when it crossed the line with him. He's saying all these other things. But for real, guys, real talk, I really think it all boils down to the fact that, you know what I'm saying? When Milk was kicking on that door, Adam had butterflies in his stomach, nervous, and uh, marked out and didn't go outside. At the end of the day, that's what I really think it all boils down to. So... Uh, again, I don't know if either of these individuals would be interested in the boxing match, but at this point, why not run it? You know what I mean? Like, for real, y'all tap in. Y'all peep as well how he, um, you know, when Milk, I'm back on Fig, him and AD pieced it up. He'll apologize that, you know, he was saying the stripper thing. Like, he's getting on him about that for, for squashing the issue. You know what I mean? Like, What's wrong with people dead and beef? You know what I mean? And then on top of it, he's like, yo, he didn't say anything about me over on there. Yes, he did. You know what I mean? When when um just like Trell with I'm back on fig, when when Adam made this announcement that uh, you know, he was just hating on milk is is the way I'm referring to it. And he, you know, Trell was trying to play peacemaker like yo what can we do etc reunion all that talk when milk was on there and they were ironing out their issues you know what i mean um trell said well what about adam and he was like yo i'm just i'm not really fucking with the dude i'm not trying to squash the issue like it is what it is i haven't even been making videos on him like that etc you know what i mean so i don't know but um some other things too that milk's been bringing up and you know we gotta address the tweets okay like the tweets were weird as fuck, disturbing, disgusting, bizarre, however you want to put it, just some whole other ish, you know what I mean? Adam out here calling Milk a weirdo over and over. Like uh, regarding those tweets though, yes, he did go on Clubhouse, Milk reacted to that, but for real, y'all, like did what he say, like, he what did he say? Like, oh, they were jokes or whatever like he didn't really have an answer for it honestly at the end of the day and i mean milk's 100 percent right whack was the you know what i'm saying whack uh, i think actually initiated that clubhouse but more or less like people heard him say oh i was joking it was a long time ago or whatever and they got up off it but um i don't know milk could uh you know continues to bring that up i don't know man this is just a wild situation oh and his queen man you know uh like some milk was bringing up that Adam was talking about milk, um, you know, disrespect his family a lot. I, I don't know. Did he really go in on his family like that? I, I know he spoke about something uh, Adam was saying regarding his lifestyle and now being a father. What's your thoughts on that? I, I don't know. But other than that, I don't really think I heard milk uh, go in on him too much for that. But for real, guys, this situation just is b bugged the fuck out to me. You know what I mean? Um, but for real, it was an ultimatum. The dudes on No Jumper, they said it in a laughing tone, but they kept it real. It was an ultimatum. You know what I mean? Like, there most definitely would have been some kind of grudge or negative feelings had Trell been like, nah, man, we're going to still fuck with him. Nah, like, and Milk called it for what it is. He's got to get to the bag, but I don't know, man. Adam just seemed a real Karen out on here. Like, do y'all feel me on that? Like, yeah, I don't know. Have you guys ever had a situation like that where you and a friend, um, there's someone else they fluck with, you don't fluck with them or vice versa or whatever. Like, what are your thoughts on this, guys? For real, like, tap in. You know what I mean? Um, Adam continues to speak on this. 
Um, I don't know, but he was really feeling that pressure, guys. And comment and let me know if you do believe uh, that it indeed, you know, in your opinion, has a lot to do with Adam not going outside and facing milk. Let me know below. But that's all I got to sub up. Stay tuned. More content coming. And I'm gone.